Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I post every day bringing you the latest updated tale reading. In this reading, we're going to find out the person on your mind, do they love or hate you? Today is the 20th of March, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 11.22 a.m. Let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo person on Virgo's mind right now do they love or hate Virgo think about the person right now Virgo let's find out please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person judgment at the bottom of the deck i feel like it's leaning towards more love than hate okay uh because the first card that came out is the page of cups they love you but if this is someone you've had an altercation with or separated from um they feel bad this is a sorry card for me right but if it's just somebody on your mind where, you know, you're just not sure how they feel about you, I feel like they're okay. They like you uh, if it's platonic, but even if it's romantic, because Paige is a young, new energy. So I would say that they like you um, or that they're starting to like you or that they're starting to love you if this is um, romantic. But overall, you know, they don't, I don't see them hating you. <laughs> but we've also got the moon right here. So that means there are some uncertainties, right? Sometimes this person could be confused about their feelings for you. Um, or that they may keep it because it's a secret. We've got the moon and high priestess. So this indicates secrets. So they may secretly love you even though if you think that they hate you okay um the main message is that they like you they love you more than they actually hate you even if even if this person is you know again somebody you don't like or somebody you've had an altercation with three of pentacles ultimately this person wants to work with you wants to be harmonious with you doesn't really want to, you know, make things worse than it already is if it's some, someone you have, you know, issues with. But if you don't have any issues with this person, I feel like they love you. They love to work with you or that they would love to see you again. They would love to discuss with you, talk to you or date you or work towards being in a relationship, making things official, if this is romantic, Ace of Pentacles, I feel like they love you more than, I don't see them hating you, to be honest, even if you think that they hate you, they don't, okay, at least, if not love, they like you, okay, the hangman here is the one first, perhaps for some of you, in the past, this person may be un either unsure or you may have thought that they hated you, but there is a change of mind. They're seeing things in your perspective, but there is also this energy surrounding, you know, I, I try to empathize. I try to see Virgo's point of view. Um, you know, I may not agree completely, but I'm open to sort of like finding out or it's almost like that gray area. Um, I don't even want to judge Virgo, really. Uh, eventually, this person may feel like, eventually, you know, I'll find out whatever it is that they're uncertain about you. Um, they love to talk to you. That's one thing that I'm seeing here. They would love to talk to you or communicate with you. Seven of Pentacles here. For those Virgos, if this is somebody who has been keeping super quiet and very silent whatever that may have happened between two of you whether it did or didn't there are times when people ghost you and you don't know why 
and you wonder if they hate you or love you, they don't hate you. They don't. I think they're, they could just, if this person goes to you or acted a little bit, have been acting a little bit weird lately, I feel like they're keeping something deep, deep inside of them, okay? Perhaps five of wands and first, they may not want to cause any drama, any strife between the two of you. They don't hate you, that's what I'm seeing here, okay? And the moon, again, it feels almost like there, there are these gray areas. For some of you, it's kind of neutral, that's what I'm picking up on. Not really hating you or not really like loving you. Like it's just like, okay, I'm open to discuss eventually about the situation, whatever both of you could be facing right now. But right now, you know, the high priestess, I'm just going to sort of keep quiet and see what's going to happen next. And, and you know what, Virgo? <laughs> Ace of Pentacles is right here. Not only do they not hate you, definitely, whether it's like or love, um, I think it's more positive than negative, okay? They don't hate you. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like they do see your value, your worth, um, the benefits of being with you or being associated to you or working with you, whoever this person is in your mind right now. It may or may not be romantic. It's a general reading. If you want a very precise, accurate reading, you can book me. All of the information is in the description box below, okay? Everybody tells me that I'm very accurate. Let's see more. You guys know it's a general reading, so there will be so many aspects and there's so many of you and it's impossible to, you know, um, have like a cookie cutter reading for each and every one of you. That would be impossible. So bear that in mind, okay? Just take what resonates with you. Got the judgment here. The sun in my verse, ten of swords in my verse. If there is somebody that you've had issues with or having issues with, had an altercation, separated, I don't see them. Again, I don't see them hating you. They may not feel very sure about their feelings towards you. Um, it could be that like neutral kind of energy. But again, I feel like the sun in reverse is not necessarily bad. When it's in reverse, you may have at one point in time, um, even if you had an altercation with this person, this person has had one point, has at one point in time saw you in a very, very positive light. Maybe because of something that may have happened between two of you. Now, they're kind of like starting to doubt certain things about you, but they don't hate you, okay? Ten of Swords in reverse. Ultimately, they want to hash things out. Ultimately, they want to release the tension between the two of you or release any pain and the hurt caused by whatever that may have happened between the two of you. They could also be sort of like waiting and observing. Um, Six of Pentacles, they don't hate you. Obviously, Virgo, again, um, I feel like it's like 80-90% of the time they don't hate you, okay? Six of Pentacles, they do see you as somebody very kind, compassionate, giving, caring. You have, you have done a lot of things for this per person. And the sun, that's why they've had really positive feelings about you before. And again, this part of the storyline is for those of you, if you've had like issues with this person in the past, all right? But if it's some, somebody relatively new, I feel like, you know, they're still not very sure yet, the moon, if they love you or not, but definitely no, no hate, okay? No hate at all in this reading. I don't see hate at all. Um, but the feelings are like, okay, I would like to see Virgo more. I don't want to jump into conclusion yet in regards to Virgo, Sun in reverse. I'm leaning towards more positive, but I'm leaving also room for doubts with the moon right here. Um, overall, I do see that Virgo, they see something in you. This person sees something in you where you're somebody very valuable. That you can bring something to the table if both of you are connected or 
being reconnected. They don't hate you. I don't see hate at all. No. No. Queen of Swords in my first. For those of you, if the person in your mind is somebody you've, again, had some issues with, um, you may have said something that start to make them doubt some things about you. The Six of Wands, they still respect you. I see them still sort of respecting your opinion, where you're coming from. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune here is in one verse. And also if you've got the Hierophant. So there is this kind of understanding. Like they understand where you're coming from. Um, it's, again, they see your point of view. So they don't hate you for being who you are as a person. Um, they respect it. They may not completely agree with you, but they respect you, okay? Because Six of Wands is right here. Uh, they respect your leadership qualities. They re respect that you have high standards, okay? They don't hate you. Or that they can see that whatever you aspire to be, whatever you aspire to achieve, that you can achieve it. It's almost like I look up to Virgo. With, wherever you're at right now, Virgo, even if you're at your lowest, it's, it feels like they have faith that you can, you, can, you can make it, okay? That if you say you're going to do something, you will, even if, it was, even if it was to look like sort of challenging. But all in all, Virgo, this person doesn't hate you at all. But um, again, if this is someone relatively new, we'll afford you more first. So they're kind of like stuck at the moment. And the judgment right here, it's like, let me see, because the will of Fortune in Reverse, it keeps turning. It's still turning, right? Um, unsure which direction it is. So they're not going to judge you that quickly if there's someone relatively new. But they do respect you. I would say that with the Six of Wands, they look up to you or that they admire you. But there are still so many things that they do not know about you. With the Seven of Pentacles here, because these pentacles can be hidden, especially right next to the moon and sun in one first. It's almost like maybe there are other sides of Virgo that I haven't seen yet. But I'm just going to kind of keep quiet and observe, and observe, right? And the Hierophant, overall, I do feel, again, that um, if this are relatively new, the Hierophant, um, they, they do think highly of you. They think highly of you. And... They kind of have a sense that, you know, you're not somebody who is going to sort of like stab them in their back or betray them. Like you're not a bad person. Okay. So definitely, again, there is no hate in this reading, this message. Whoever, even again, even if you think that person hates you, that person doesn't hate you. Okay. Because the moon, they may be keeping it inside of them. Okay. Whatever Virgo did, even if you did offend them, they get where you're coming from. It's almost like, I get it, but it may be a little bit offensive. You may have offended me, but I understand where you're coming from. Possibly because you came from a good place, just that the way you acted towards it or you conveyed those messages to them may have, may have offended them. If this is someone you've had an altercation with, okay? But they get you, they understand, so they don't hate you, okay? Um, if there's someone you're separated from, they're still stuck. I see them still wanting to talk to you, um, but they want to wait for a while. They're unsure where to go from here. They don't hate you. They do see, like, at the end, this is the last card, that they would like to be on the same page as you are, whether it's to reconcile or to not have any bad blood between the two of you. Again, Virgo, if this is somewhere relatively new, they're still observing, okay? But overall, they see you as kind, compassionate. They they can see that, you know, you, you're not a bad person. So no hate at all. Mostly love regardless. Okay, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. If you want a reading that's tailor-made for you, that's very, very accurate. A lot of people tell me that. All of the information is in the description box below. And feel free to subscribe to all of my other channels. I do have... A travel vlog channel and also my main channel is my uh, Chelsea Love Tarot channel with all where I do all 12 individual sign readings sometimes collective sometimes you know just 
check check it out if you want to and that's the only channel that i would go live as well so um subscribe to that channel if you want to and on this channel don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you want to be notified every time i post your videos which is every single day take care virgo love you bye